They want you to solve. Solve means not find the value of x. How to find the value of x? Convert it. So here the logic is simple. 2x can be written as 2 into x. And I can take 8. I'll write it as 2 cube. Everything I made in terms of 2. 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2. So 2 cube. So now I can use law of indices. Further simplify this. So negative power I can write it as positive when I take reciprocal. 1 by 3 can be written as 3 by 1 power negative 3 becomes positive 3. And 3 square, you know, 3 square is 9, 3, 3. Then. So we have simplified. Here you can see A, B, B, C, A, C. Here you can see A, B, B, C, A, C. Here you can see A, B, B, C, C, A. See, all are... Welcome to the session, dear students. Now we'll continue with problems based on law of indices. Show that sigma 1 by 1 plus x power a minus b plus x power a minus c equal to 1. Sigma means what? Summation. So we'll take LHS. So LHS is 1 by 1 plus x power a minus b plus a minus c plus 1 by 1 plus a b a c is over then b minus c and b minus a similarly 1 by x plus 1 plus x power c minus a plus c minus b so now simplify sigma means what summation of cyclic a b a c then b c b a then c b c a c b now this can be written as all of you know law of indices 1 plus can I write it as x power a by x power b plus x power a by x power c. This can be written as 1 by 1 plus x power b by x power c plus 1 by sorry x power b by x power a. Further this can be written as 1 by 1 plus x power c by x power a plus x power c by x power b. Now simplify this. If you simplify LCM becomes product of these two, that product comes up, it will become x power b into x power c divided by x power b, x power c plus x power a, x power a. Sorry, x power a into, sorry, taking LCM, if I take LCM, it will become x power a into x power c plus x power a into x power b. Further, this can be written as these two, product of these two becomes LCM. So, these two goes up, it will become x power c into x power a divided by x power c into x power a plus x power b into x power a plus x power b into x power c. Similarly, plus these two products x power a x power b divided by x power a x power b plus x power b x power c plus x power c x power a so we have simplified here you can see a b b c a c here you can see a b b c a c here you can see a b b c c a see all are having denominator same careful observation so denominators are same i can take lcm is same what is the lcm x power in order i'll write a b into x power a b plus or sorry lcm is same what is the lcm the product of the terms a b a c like that we have x power a b x power a into x power b plus x power b into x power c then x power a into x power c. Every term denominator is same, so you can add numerator. Numerator becomes x power b x power c plus x power c x power a plus x power a x power b. Now rearrange them. I'll rearrange them. So I'll write in order. First I'll write x power a x power b plus then I'll write x power b x power c. Then I'll write x power a x power c. So I'm rearranging. So denominator is also same. X power a, x power b plus x power b, x power c plus x power a, x power c. See here, if you observe, these denominators are same. They are jumbled, rearranged. LCM will become same. Now my question to you, if I give a by 2 plus b by 2 plus c by 2, what is the LCM? LCM is same, so 2. Then numerators will add. 
like that here denominators are same but rearrange first you write ab then you write bc then you write ac in all three and lcm will be same then add the numerators and rearrange the numerators you can see numerator and denominator both are same if numerator and both denominator both are same they will cancel so when we cancel both numerator the whole numerator and whole denominator cancels and you are left out with what one so finally you are getting one this is the rhs hence the proof I hope all of you understood this. Now further, so let me explain. Here sigma, sigma means cyclic summation. So A minus B, B minus C. The second term B minus A, C minus A. Third term C minus A, C minus B. Then you know A power M minus N can be written as A power M by A power N. All of you know this indices. A power M by A power N is what? A power M minus N. If you have A power M minus N, you can write it as A power M by A power N. Similarly, A minus B can be written as X power A by X power B. A minus C can be written as X power A by X power C. Like that and take LCM and simplify and get the answer. Okay, now we'll go to the next problem. Show that Y power minus 1 by X power minus 1 plus Y power minus 1 plus y power minus 1 by x power minus 1 minus y power minus 1 is equal to 2xy by y square minus x square. Take LHS and solve it and arrive RHS. So, we will take LHS. What is LHS? y power minus 1 divided by x power minus 1 plus y power minus 1 plus y power minus 1 by x power minus 1 minus y power minus 1. All of you know y power minus 1 can be written as 1 by y. Similarly, x power minus 1 can be written as 1 by x, y power minus 1 can be written as 1 by y. Plus, similarly, y power minus 1 can be written as 1 by y goes to denominator and denominator x power minus 1, 1 by x minus y power minus 1 can be written as 1 by y. Simplify this. Now, 1 divided by y into take LCM for x and y LCM is xy. Multiply, it will become y plus x. Further, 1 divided by y into take LCM. What is the LCM? X into y. Cross multiply y minus x. So now you can cancel the terms. I can cancel y and y. Here I can cancel y and y again. So whatever is left out, denominator of denominator goes to what? Numerator. Denominator of the denominator, x in agatha, numerator go agatha, divided by uh, y plus x or I can say x plus y and plus divided by so denominator of the denominator goes to numerator that will be x divided by y minus x this was y plus x that is y minus x one and the same x plus y and y plus x so y plus x now take lcm what is the lcm here a plus b and a minus b a plus b into a minus b is y plus x into y minus x cross multiply it will become x into y minus x plus x into y plus x and denominator you can observe it is in the form a plus b into a minus b what is a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square so denominator becomes y square minus x square numerator multiply term wise x into y is x y minus x square plus x y plus x square now cancel the unlike terms here minus x square and plus x square I can cancel what is left out? What is left out is xy plus xy. x plus xy is 2xy divided by x square minus y square. Sorry, y square minus x square divided by y square minus x square. Hence, this is what RHS, hence the proof. Here, LCM is what product of these two and cross multiply. Then, you will get this. Simplify, you will get the answer. Here, law of indices, what we used is a power minus m. What is a power minus m? 1 by a power m. Then we went on taking LCM. And we have used identity. What is identity? a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So, y plus x into y minus x can be written as y square minus x square. Next, simplify 2 into 3 power minus 2 plus 1 by 3 power minus 3 plus 3 square. So, now 2 into 3 power minus 2 plus 1 by 3 power minus 3 plus 3 square. They want you to simplify this. So, you know a power minus m. So, in mathematics, a power minus m can be written as 1 by a power positive m. So, what we will do is 2 into, I can write it as 1 by 3 square plus and we have one more interesting fact. a by b power minus m can be written as reverse it. b by a power positive m. 
So negative power I can write it as positive when I take reciprocal. 1 by 3 can be written as 3 by 1 power negative 3 becomes positive 3. And 3 square, you know, 3 square is 9. 3, 3 is a. Now 2 divided by 3 square is 9 plus 3 power 3 by 1 power 3. 3 goes for both 9. Further simplify this. So 2 by 9 let it be plus 3 cube is 3, 3 is a 9, 3 is a 27 plus 9 by 1. So now LCM is 9. And numerator 2 plus uh, 9 is the LCM 27 into 9 plus 9 into 9 simplify this further 9 2 plus 9 7 is a 63 6 9 2 is a 18 18 plus 6 24 plus 81 that is 245 plus 81 245 81 you add so it becomes 6 and 12 it is 326 by 326 divided by 9. So, 3 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 3, so that's it. I hope all of you understood. We have 2, 3 power minus 2. 3 power minus 2 can be written as 1 by 3 square. 3 square is 9. So, 3, you rate, take reciprocal and make it positive. 3 cube, 3, 3 is a 9, 3 is a 27 plus 9. Or here, in spite of taking LCM, here one more diversion is, just I can take 2 power 9, 2 by 9, add this to 27, 9 direct tag add muddy. It will become 36. Then you can take LCM, 9, 2 plus 9 into 36, one and the same. So, 2 plus 9 into 36, 9, 6 is a... 54 5 9 3 is a 27 27 plus 5 30 27 plus 5 32 by 9 again you get 3 26 by 9 so you can do like this also but final answer is same really non fractions and money however you want you can do but what is important a power minus m what is a power minus m 1 by a power m a by b power minus m can be written as b by a power m so we'll go to the 11th problem 2 power 2 power 0 minus 2 power 3 power 0 by 2 power 0 power 6 minus 2 power 2 square. Simplify this. Anything power 0 is 1. 2 square is 4. Power 0 is 1 minus. Here 2 power 3 power 0. This power becomes 1 divided by 2 power 0 is 1. 1 power 6 minus 2 power 2 square is 4. That is 1 minus 2 divided by 1 minus 16. That is minus 2 divided by minus 15. That is 2 by 15. Positive 2 by 15. That's it. Here 3 power 0 becomes what? 1. 2 power 1. 2 by 15 is the final answer. So what is the basic we used? A power 0. Anything power 0 is 1. 1 power n is what? 1. These two are the basics. Simple and direct. Simplify this. Here we have variables. So 2 power b into 2 power b minus 1 whole cube. 16 power b by 2, 8 like that. So convert everything in terms of 2. If bases are same, you can use law of indices. So here 2 power b, I'll use law of indices. A power m whole power n is a power m into n. So I'll write 3 into b minus 1. 16. Can I write 16 as 2 power 4 whole power b by 2 further 2 power b plus 1 let it be can I write 4 as 2 square power b 8 I will write it as 2 cube everything I made in terms of 2 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 to 2 cube so now I can use law of indices further simplify this so it will become 2 power b let it be and 2 power a power m whole power n is a power m into n then these two 3b minus 3 into 2 power multiply 4 into b by 2 divided by 2 power b plus 1 again use law of indices 2 into b is 2b into 2 cube now add the powers before that you can simplify 2 ones are 2 twos are so now add the powers a power m into a power n is a power m plus 1 b plus 3b minus 3 minus b plus 2b divided by 2 power add the powers b plus 1 plus 2b plus 3. So that, that is 2 power b plus 3b is 4b, 4b plus 2b is 6b minus 3 divided by 2 power 3b plus 3 plus 1 is 4. Now it is in the form a per m by a per n. a per m by a per n can be written as a per m minus n. You can write 2 power 
सिक्स बी माइनस थ्री माइनस थ्री बी माइनस फोर सो फाइनली विल बी लेफ्ट आउट विथ टू पॉर सिक्स बी माइनस थ्री बी थ्री बी माइनस सेवन दिस इज द आंसर आफ्टर सिंप्लीफिकेशन दिस वन मेथड और एनी अदर मेथड यू कैन यूज सो दट इज फाइन आई मेड ऑल द बेसिस टू बट आई सिंप्लीफाइड सॉल्व सॉल्व मीन्स वॉट फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वॉट इज मन बाई सॉल्व फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हाउ टू सॉल्व सो टेक द पावर सो नाउ टू पावर टू एक्स माइनस सिक्स इन टू टू पावर एक्स प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो देखिए यू नो लाफ इंडिसिस लाफ इंडिसिस सेज दैट ए पावर एम होल पावर एन कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए पावर एम इन टू एन आर यू कैन रेट ए पावर एन इन टू एम वन एंड द सेम नो द सेम लॉजिक वेल यूज हियर यू कैन से टू पावर एक्स Can I write it as two power x whole square minus six into two power x plus eight, and let us assume, let us assume capital X is equal to two power x. So I then assume, my substitute. If you substitute, it will become capital X square minus six into capital X minus plus eight is equal to zero. So now factorize this. What are the factors for eight? So eight factors that should give you six. Four two is eight, but I need minus minus four minus two. If you multiply, you'll get plus eight. If you add, you'll get this. So I can write x square minus four x minus two x plus eight. Now what you should do? Take x common. If you take x common, it will become x minus four. Take minus two common, it will become x minus four is equal to zero. Take x minus four common into what is left out? X minus two is equal to zero. Now x minus four is equal to zero. And x minus two is equal to zero. Two roots. Simplify this. X minus four is equal to zero. Sorry. X minus four is equal to zero means what? X is equal to four. What is x we assumed? We assumed x is equal to what? Two power x. So two power small x is equal to four. Or two power x is equal to what? Two square can I write? So now if bases are same, you can equate the powers. So therefore your x value is two. One root and refer the other root. Other root is what x minus two equal to zero. So x minus two equal to zero. So what is x? X is equal to two. X means two power small x. Two power small x is two means two power x is equal to can I write it as two power one? Now again bases are same. So therefore you can equate the powers. X is equal to one. So therefore x values are first we got one and then two. These are the values of x. They want you to solve. Solve means what? Find the value of x. How to find the value of x? Convert it. See here, the logic is simple. Two x can be written as two into x, and I can take it up. If you use law of indices, a per m whole per n is a per m into n x x whole square. And why I am writing x whole square? Because I can see two per x here. Here I saw two per x, so I made this two per x whole square. If you use this formula, you'll get m into n. So two x bar at once. And take this as capital X and solve it. It will become quadratic equation. All of you know how to solve middle term factorization. You do, and you'll get two values for x, and both we have found. My dear students, I explained all the problems based on law of indices, which are basically worked examples of your textbook. Again, I explained them so that you are thinking process. is generated and we'll apply the same thinking for exercise and we'll solve all the problems of your exercise i'll see you in my next session thanks for attending thank you